How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael, at your service on this amazing channel. Yeah. Today we are focusing on the Smith Machine Squats. I haven't done Smith Machine Squats in a while. I've been sticking to free, uh, free weight squats and my hack press. So it's time to utilize the Smith Machine. It allows me to get even better depth and different fit, uh, footing positions. Uh, not just width, but in and out uh, from my body, different positions and different things. So, an amazing machine, and uh, I'm going to utilize it today. We got 45s on the ends here, uh, the bar and this carriage right here together. All that weighs 57 pounds. I've weighed it a couple different times. Uh, 57 pounds. So, we have 9,584 million trillion pounds on here. You do the math. So let's get started guys. We're going to warm up with some 135, probably a couple of sets, and then we're going to really kick some butt today. So you work out and do whatever you're doing along with me. Let's motivate one another. Let's work out. want to get the feel for that guys. Remember this is 57 pounds. <laughs>
417. Now I didn't do real well on that, but I wanted to get the weight on top of there and feel the weight. And that's the best way to do it is on a Smith machine because I have safeties there and it's all more controlled. And uh, it's if you want to try and do something a little bit out there, the machines and stuff like that are the best way to try it. So uh, you'll notice that I did a lot of sets of 230, uh, 237 and 327. Of course, like I said, the, the numbers are all weird whenever I use the Smith machine because the bar and the, the little carriage deal, all that weighs 57 pounds. So it throws the weight off 12 pounds from your typical average everyday lifts. Uh, I, I'm gonna hurt, I can tell you that much. Definitely gonna hurt. That was a lot of sets and a lot of stress and strain. And it felt pretty good. Ooh, my shoulder hurts. Again, some of you are gonna ask, Michael, why are you high bar squatting? Well, a high bar squat because my shoulders are horrible. Mostly this one, it burns me. It's like someone's got a hot iron stuck in my muscles and just prying it apart and it's killing me. So uh, it's hard for me to do anything in this uh, general area, much less try to hold a bar a foot down my back. So anyway, that's the reason. Uh, high bar, I don't know why people have something against high bar squats, but you always see people mention, why is the bar so high? I don't know what people have against that. That's kind of strange. And that's another reason that I use the pad is because my shoulders and my neck and all that are bad anyway. So uh, sometimes I got to use the pad. And, uh, anyway, so I had a good leg workout. I feel good about what I did. Yeah, I wish I could have went a little bit better with the 400 uh, and 17, but eh, it is what it is. I enjoy at least pushing the boundaries and trying things. So, and, and to me, that's what you ought to do. You ought to push a little bit. Don't, don't stay so much in your comfort zone. So anyway, guys, hope I inspired you in some way and hope you inspire me in the comments. Uh, leave good comments, helpful, friendly comments, guys. All right? And while you're at it, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff too. The body beat down. And Vogue. Vogue. Uh, uh, uh. Vogue while you're doing it. All right? Get up. Get out and get red. Do it to it. Now to get cleaned up and head out to go eat for my wife's birthday. I don't have to cook tonight. Yes. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!